issues in, in games? What's, what do you have to do to try to get things that are working in the practice field and get it to translate in the game so that you're uh, able to – Play you know, better, you know, play better, not beat ourselves, you know, not uh, – you know, get into the flow of the game, start complimenting each other. You know, there was an opportunity and, you know, we had a turnover and then, again, allowed the score. So defense has to be – you know, we've had opportunities for sudden change and we've done well – you know, in sudden change, it just didn't um, seem to, to happen that way yesterday. But, you know, you're, you you go on the road and, you know, you get a stop and, you know, you hit a play and you, you know, start to get some momentum, you know, and that, that gets derailed. And then, you know, defensively you have an opportunity to go out and, you know, get the ball back. And, and again, that didn't happen. And so um, we'll have to get back to those things and taking care of the football you know, and then turning it over, trying to get some turnovers. Pick, picking up on that, Will, Will and a couple guys said that they felt like practice didn't translate to the game. Do you feel like that's the case? And, and if so, like, what's the disconnect? You hit it there, I guess, but what's the disconnect between carrying over what you do during the week to the test that you talk yeah, about? Yeah, there's only, you know, I mean, only one day that matters. And, um, you know, um, I would say trying to continue to, you know, formulate those those practices and, and make sure that, um, you know, we're 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 try we always try to you know create practice in a manner in which, you know, you play the game and then we're trying to, you know, do it with with pace and with tempo, you know, give them enough speed, uh, looks that they can, you know, feel comfortable about you know what they're doing but then also realizing where we're at in the season and you know who's available and how how much they can go and what what speed capacity and based on injury and health and you know all those things and and just looking at um, you know ultimately you know the more exposure and you get into those games and you know you just you, know, you, you only have a few opportunities to go out there and you know we can say that there's a bunch of plays, but there's a handful of plays that, you know, if you're able to make them, you know, swing the, you know, swing the outcome, you know, differently or, or make it much more competitive uh, in yesterday's case. Despite the results, are you seeing week to week improvement from Will at the quarterback position as you bring him along? And also uh, in that regard, is he, how's he doing as far as not making the same mistake twice like you preach? Well, the, the mis the, making the same mistake twice is, is something that's probably uh, been pretty good. And I thought there was a couple, you know, decisions there um, that, that we can't make. You know, you can't throw that ball, you know, going to your left and, and throwing it. You know, whether he didn't see hop on the sidelines there as the, as the play extended. Um, but those, those, those should be turnovers. Those are turnover-worthy plays. And, you know, we need to, to, to limit those. Um, you know, again, the, the the ability to throw the ball down the field has been, you know, a positive. You know, um, you know, the decision making I think has been pretty good. You know, yesterday was probably a few few examples, but you know, again, it's it's a process, and, and each week is different, and you know, we have to come back and, and again have to uh, continue to improve. Um, at the quarterback position and then everywhere else. Mike, how does Amani, a safety, end up on their best receiver down around the red zone on the third down that they ended up scoring the touchdown to Ridley? Uh, the, the coverage that we were in, and I would, you know, probably argue that at this point in time, Amani's probably one of our better options uh, back there to, to cover anybody. With the safeties, just how do you feel like Kayvon and Terrell and some of these new guys have come along trying to fill KB's shoes since the trade? Um, well, I mean, they've all played and they showed up and made some plays, had some plays they'd like to have back. And, you know, both of them were in and out of the game yesterday. You know, Kayvon didn't finish it. Mike Brown played, Terrell played. So, again, I, I think that their, their attitudes are great there. Their willingness, Kayvon had a, had a few plays there early, um, you know, where he showed up. and um, But but again, I think just making sure that, you know, the communication is sound and that we're not, you know, letting guys run free and had a few mistakes. And, you know, 
have to get back to work. With the locker room itself, the, the team overall, what would you say are some examples of, of you still having a firm hold, a, a firm control of the locker room, so to speak? Uh, you, I don't, I've never, you know. Are you questioning that? I'm not sure. Is that something that you're quite, you know, just are you questioning to run my, my control of the locker room? I'm asking you're questioning you, it. No, what I'm asking you is, is for examples of how you still have. I'm not saying you do or don't have control of it. What I want to know is what are some examples of you having control? The, the same ones that I've had since I got here. I mean, that's, I don't know how to do it any other way, you know. You know, be honest with them, you know, coach them, you know, and I, you know, have not, uh, I don't know, not, I haven't really thought about it because I don't, you know, I don't think, you know, that there, you know, that that's an issue. You know, I wish that wish we would win. I wish we were winning. I wish we were better. Um, but we're not going to, I'm not going to compromise uh, the things that I believe that, uh, you know, are going to help us win and, and about the details and about, you know, the, the little things and not letting those slide and doing my best to, to hold everybody accountable, you know, including myself uh, as, as we go through this. Is there, is there anything that you feel or, or what makes you feel that it's going to remain that way even if, you know, you guys should happen to keep losing? Like what gives you confidence that you could? Well, the, the, the players in there, you know, the players in there, I think that uh, – you know, you got to build something and with, with the with the people that you uh, you trust. And and again, we've always said about you know culture is defining yourselves by what you look like. You know, when things aren't well, things aren't great right now. Um, you know, we know what they are. Uh, and so, you know, we've got to count on our leadership. And uh, you know, and and then finding out. And and if there are guys like that, it, you know, exposing them. And then we certainly don't want them here. And I don't think there are guys like that. Are you thinking about I don't think we have bad culture. I we think we've lost. I don't think our culture, you know what I mean? I don't think we, you know, if I looked overall, I would say, you know, I mean, we, you know, again, we're, we're, we're busting our ass. We, we, we try to block extra points. You know, I know it sounds silly and, and, and ridiculous, but when you look around and, you know, again, you can judge some of that on the effort of, you know, the guys saying, you know, I'm going to do everything I can. I'm going to play every snap. Um, we, we don't, you know, again, we hate to be in four minute. We hate to be in that situation. You know, Harold Landry's out there, you know, fighting, competing, you know, at the end of the game, just like everybody else. We made some substitutions. Um, but I'm confident that, that we're going to, we're going to fight and we're going to compete. We just, we just didn't win. As we talked to guys yesterday, though, there were several that kind of shook their head and said, I have no idea. And maybe so, that's yeah, just no, they're, I mean, Jacksonville's better. They're a better football team. Well, they're, be, they're better coach, and they're, they got, they're a better team right now. So none of us um, would, would be able to do anything after that game yesterday. Um, and I know that we're going to come back to work tomorrow and, uh, and have a plan and uh, you know, see who's available and, uh, and get to work. Why wait until the game is out of reach when you guys kind of dipped into the bag on the trick plays? Uh, ran, ran, a, ran a reverse there, uh, second play of the game, that third play of the game that, that got us down. Um, ran some screens and you know, just the opportunity to present itself and you know being in a situation where you know the, on the um, you know on the reverse pass. Um, Trying to be in a position where, where where you score a touchdown on that, so you know they they were sprinkled throughout the game, and I just I I disagree that we waited. I think that that's you know the one showed up, but we had I think throughout the game, you know like I said early in the game the reverse that got us 38 yards uh, was a good example of that. Do you think you need to sort of change the way you? Coach or approach your guys, given like the circumstances of this season, you've never really coached a team that has been falling out of contention at this point in the year. Does it change your approach to the day to day? Um, I hope not. No, I hope I hope that uh, I come in with energy. I hope I come in with with passion for for coaching and teaching and um, making sure that you know we understand how we have to play and try to correct them and. and 
have energy at practice and, you know, listen to them and demand and, and hold them accountable and all those things that I feel like uh, I try to do. Fourth and one in the third quarter in, in your own territory, 20 nothing. I know it's sure. hard press. It could be, yeah. You know, yeah, of course I thought about it, you know. Of course I thought about it. Um, but, you know, thought about trying to punt and see if we couldn't keep them back there and try to keep it at 20. Just tried to weigh, you know, both sides of it. That's, that's what I was doing, Paul, and decided on that one at the 30-yard line to, to kick it. With Fulton, uh, he and Trey Avery, they split some time. Was that, I mean, did he tweak something or was that a, a Oh, no, that was coach's decision. Okay. What what was going wrong for Christian to, to make you want to? I, I don't know what was going wrong. I just uh, felt like it was needed to be better, and we've had a conversation, and I'll keep that between him and I, and you know we'll try to move on to this week. But that's uh, you know getting beat is one thing, you know, and just making sure that we're executing, you know, the call and the scheme, and corners are going to get beat. I think they're going to get beat by. Wide receivers, especially you know, ones that we played yesterday. Um, and so that wasn't the reason that, that I tried to put Trey in there. I just, there were some other reasons that, you know, Christian and I talked about. They got flagged a couple of times and, and gave up one on the sideline. Well, again, corners are going to get beat. Um, you know, Roger challenges, Roger's, um, you know, competitive. I, I didn't see the TV copy yet of the first one. I, I, I think that that would probably – I probably would say that disagree with the call. I don't think he restricted him. I think the receiver – you know, I mean, that's what happens on 95% of those passes at the sticks on third down. Um, you know, the deep ball, again, where we're at right now, uh, we get a little bit of pressure, and instead of tipping the pass, we hit the quarterback's arm. So now the ball's underthrown. Receiver comes back for the ball, and uh, and we get DPI as opposed to somehow tipping that football and then DPA, DPI not being in effect. So uh, again, Roger, um, not without fault, but he you know competitive and he tries to challenge and you know was you know had had a, had a win on, on short uh, two minute when they tried to throw over there on the sidelines. So that was that was positive. He showed up and tackled a few times and you know, but again just. You know, we all need to be better. What's your assessment of uh, Raidens and Duncan at the tackles? Um, you know, I thought it was good to have uh, Jalen get the opportunity. You know, he'd been, been working hard, and we've been working through some, you know, some different lineups up front. And uh, he, had a, he had, a, had a role, an XL jumbo role, which he, you know, put some time into. And, Excited to use that and then got in there at tackle. And, you know, I would say from a execution standpoint or you know, understanding and assignment standpoint was good. I think the execution could always be better, but uh, it's a good place to start. Excited about, you know, if we'll, we'll be able to see him this week. It seemed like you guys were using that XL package a bunch early. Just how much of a hit was it to the game plan when Chris went out and you guys weren't able to go to that as much? Anymore? Well, it was just, uh, again, that was a way to, to get a young player in there, a young tackle in there to some, some work. Um, we could still run some of those plays. and um, But it just felt like that that's a good way to introduce a, a young lineman who hasn't had a lot of game reps um, into the game and you know, get him some work and then see how he handles it and then progress on. So, you know, he'll probably play more more tackle this week. Mike, are you thinking at all at this point in time about any coaching staff changes given the issues that seem to be repeating themselves? No. You're saying Jalen may play more tackles, uh -huh. Chris potentially uh, yeah. going to miss some time? Yes. You have hope that you get trailing by Braxton at some point? Once he, still kind Once of he clears through uh, protocol. Once him and Dillard clear through protocol, um, you know when the when when the trainers and the doctors say that, you know that's on to their next step, then they'll practice. And so I don't know where that is right now, other than to say that um, today they they wouldn't have been able to practice, and tomorrow uh, could potentially be something different as they progress through.
Mike, you talked yesterday about snapping 100 footballs instead of snapping 50. But at what point do you make a change at that position when you're having the same issue of snapping the football? Um, well, Bruce played some good football for us. And, uh, you know, he's done some good things, done some really good things. And, uh, you know, we just have to, uh, you know, we have to clean it up. You know, I think, I mean, I guess, you know, not to say that we would never make a change, but that I don't anticipate making a change. I would, you know, want to just make sure that we're executing the play from the time that we start it and get the snap and give ourselves a chance. And, uh, you know, Bruno knows that and you know, we'll continue to work on it. The frustration yeah. is growing, but like it seemed to be yesterday in the locker room, do you have to change your messaging? Or You're very consistent in how you do it, but and obviously it's gotten to three and seven at this point. Do you have to change anything down the stretch in your approach? Well, I man, I try to, try to figure out what's best for the team each and every week and what I show them and, you know, the good stuff and, and the stuff that's been getting us beat. And we'll keep coming to work. We'll keep grinding away. We'll keep trying to f different rotations and, you know, do everything that we can and making sure that these guys in, in, improve. And when we improve, then we'll, then we'll win. Expect Murphy Bunting back this week? Uh, he, yeah, did a little bit last week. So I would say that it's trending uh, more positively. But again, just the contact with, you know, the thumb and everything else, we'll have to see how that does uh, throughout the week. Why is the improvement taking so long, do you think? Um, well, there's obviously ways to develop players, and I think different players develop at different rates and different speeds. We've got some some younger guys and some guys that, you know, haven't been here. We've worked through different combinations on the offensive line through injury. Um, had some guys out. Um, you know, so again, making sure that we're creative in the ways that we develop these guys and that we're showing them and explaining to them and and giving them opportunities for, for small victories, whether it's Jalen who, you know, handled a role and then he'll get another role, or it's TK who plays in a game, continues to develop. You know, Monty Rice challenged him to do well on special teams and perform there, uh, which in turn would, would lead to some defensive snaps, which he has gotten, and I would say has taken advantage of those, has been active, um, you know, just – you know, different examples of that throughout the the roster. So, you know, it's all bringing it. It's it's bringing it all together in all three phases. You know, Colton Dow. You know, gave him an opportunity. He'll get more yesterday. Showed some speed. So, uh, as a gunner, showed some size, and you know, did a nice job in some of the return you know units. And you know, that's something that he hasn't done a ton of. And you know, it was good to see him. You know, take advantage of that. Do you do you get impatient or do you fight impatience? You're talking about. Small things, which I understand, add up, but collectively, it seems slow. Well, it, um, when you lose, it, it is, and then trying to find examples, you know, of that, right? To, to to make sure that you know our ultimate goal is is winning. You know, we understand that, and but again, also understand where we're at right now in this season. And I think that if you can improve, then that then we're going to lead to, to victories. And that's what I've said. We can't worry about winning before we worry about improving. We, we're going to have to do some things, you know, better. And uh, I'm excited about that challenge. I'm excited about, you know, getting back to work. Brought up yesterday oh, that only playing 40 snaps offensively. Just when you went back and watched the tape, was that kind of the old standards of getting behind the sticks on first down sort of thing? Or was there something new you identified about why the team was – Struggling to sustain those drives. Um, well, we had uh, some unforced errors again. They snapped the ball bad, and we snap it bad again, and then the back goes the wrong way one time, and then we snap it uh, bad. We have a false start, and then we follow that up with another false start. Um, you know. Mike, why can't this team figure out punt returner? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I thought Eric's done a nice job. You know, I mean, it's. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't. I thought he's he's caught him well. 
You know, it'd be like saying every time, you know, when when Derek fumbled last year, it'd be like saying that, you know, why can't we figure out, you know, Derek, he, he fumbled. I, I think that that's probably a little different than, um, you know, catching him. It's not like we haven't gone through and had guys, you know, catch the ball or, you know, try out five or six different guys. It, I think that the fumble and, and the rake and the, you know, I would probably say that that's, you know, under the category of we have to do a better job of protecting the guy with the ball. And he, he knows that, but also, you know, not, not letting that guy, the long snapper who was, you know, talented and had three tackles, you know, we have to do a better job of, of protecting the returner. And, uh, you know, Eric's caught him. He'll continue to catch him. And, you know, ball security is critical. Ravens with the false starts. Ravens with the false starts or Brewer with the high snaps. Why is it taking the time it is for those things to get correct? Right. These are, you know, we, 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 we continue. I'll just keep coaching it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep blasting the music and uh, keep getting them to concentrate the best that we can. Um, you know, keep working with Brew about different blocks that he may have to execute uh, and, and where he's moving and, and making sure that the snap is the most important thing, you know, and then wherever he has to go and, and make sure that he's not moving uh, too fast uh, to, to snap the football. Guys on this roster. I said we'll blast the music. We'll play the music louder. Are there enough guys on this roster that have earned your trust that they're going to do the right thing and make the right play consistently, play in, play out? Are there enough guys that I trust? Yeah, we trust a lot. I mean, which, whether we make the play, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but we'll um, – yeah, I mean, we have some mental errors. And, again, I think that, that we're working at it, but uh, – you know, we'll we'll make sure that uh, they understand the plan, give them an opportunity to go out there and have, you know, trust and confidence in, in what they're doing and uh, and get a win. But uh, yesterday was, you know, is disappointing. And uh, but but we're we're gonna we'll get back to work. We're gonna we're gonna make sure that uh, our guys are, are are confident when they go out there with a plan on third down defensively. You know, I've already had conversations with some players and, you know, they, they, they're they explaining things that they think and they said, well, you know, we have to understand that whatever the detail is that has to be has to be better to help us do our job. And, uh, and, and I'm confident that we'll keep doing that. Are you giving up anything with the Tuesday-Thursday split in terms of speed or physicality or recovery? Uh, no, I mean... No, I don't know. At this point in time, I don't know how much speed and physicality. I've, you know, try to get the most out of these walkthrough periods that we've had, you know, showing them as many possible plays as, as we can versus many different looks of our plays that we have in versus things that they have. Those have been beneficial. And, uh, you know, there's, there's just only so many full speed opportunities uh, in, in a week. So. That, that's the schedule that we're going with, and I think that we'll get more out of that being focused on Tuesday and Wednesday you know, than we would uh, for uh, half a day on Thursday. When it comes to not making Last changes one. on the coaching staff, you mm -hmm. talk about you know, just going back out there and coaching it and repping it and things like that. What gives you the confidence that coaching it and repping it with the same coaches? Because I have the over? luxury of having played this game in this league and um and i know what we're coaching i know what we're teaching uh, i never blamed uh dean pease or matt patricia or, or bill belichick or romeo cornell or rob ryan i mean i couldn't get to the pass rusher or i missed a tackle or i went the wrong way and that's 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 the luxury that i have never never blamed a, a coach for my uh, let me uh let me finish and then you can interrupt me and so I know what we're coaching. And I know what we're teaching. I'm in the meetings. Um, you know, we, we're going to continue to find ways to, to help our players and to, uh, to, 
to demand that they uh, play with great effort and improve our details, improve our fundamentals, because I know that that's what works. Go ahead. Well, these players may not be as good as you. So when you, as a player, that has that had nothing. My comment had nothing to do with with my ability. It, it was my perspective. Right. That was. About the training staff and the injuries, and you've said that you never blamed a trainer as a player I, I for did. injuries. But then guys like AJ who get injured here, David Long go off, and they play in these other places. And so at that point, it starts to become well, maybe it could be that issue that you are not considering. I I, I appreciate and certainly understand that. Um, you know, there, there's there's going to be guys. I'm not going to debate whether guys go on and, and get injured. Like. Hey, yeah. I'm not going to talk about AJ. I have a great relationship with AJ, and you know, David Long was a player that we've had here uh, for 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 many years. And you know, whether he was injured in the spring or not injured or what, and I just not not going to have that debate. I just um, I don't think that making changes to to a coaching staff at this point in time. It is warranted. I, I believe in our staff. I, I believe in our players. And we, we're going to find ways to improve. We're going to find ways to you know, win after we find ways to improve. You did mention earlier that Jacksonville was better coached. Wondering if you could elaborate on where some of those things are falling short with your staff compared to their staff as a whole. I just, you know, all, every opportunity that they gain plays, they, you know, they had a they had a good play call, and you know we, we, we need to to give our guys better chances in certain opportunities. Whether that's uh, explaining it to them better, coaching it better, uh, and, and therefore getting better results. So that all falls on me. Uh, the performance and and the coaching it all fa it all falls on me, and I'm excited to to get it fixed.